Hey, this is Dawn Mansky with Made for Freedom, and I am thrilled today to be able to spend some time chatting with Becca Parker. Becca is our new Kiva trustee, and she is joining us from Oregon, right? Portland? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, Becca, thank you so much for spending some time with us today, and it's, it's so good to have a conversation with you. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Cool. Well, our Kiva loan is doing well, but I really wanted to, I wanted some, I wanted people to get a better understanding of Kiva and I wanted them to kind of get some insight about Kiva from your perspective, but also um, better understand what a trustee is. So if you could explain to us what, what does it mean to be a trustee at Kiva and, and how did you end up in that role? Um, the trustees come to the role from many different aspects, but, but for me, it was um, my passion and interest in what Kiva was doing and how they were helping entrepreneurs, especially women, from a grassroots level. It, it wasn't anybody sitting around waiting for a law to be passed or a bank to approve a loan. It was reaching people who had really worthy projects and um, good plans mm -hmm. and they needed a helping hand. So it, it wasn't a loan, I mean it wasn't a handout um, and it wasn't a give to somebody that hadn't done anything. It was already people who were moving with their own passion, who wanted to expand. And I had been making loans on Kiva for a year or two prior to becoming a trustee. And I watched as Kiva came to the U.S. about five years ago. And and I called them up and said, I'd love to be a trustee. So that's how that started. And then I would look for people that had good projects and form a relationship with them and then mentor them through the loan process. I talk to them about what Kiva um, does and doesn't do. When I started, there wasn't the private fundraising period, but oh, okay. Kiva found that the repayment rate was 10% higher if people mobilized their own network, which was really good for their marketing anyway. Mm -hmm. So I, I have just been totally enthusiastic about the program and about the personal relationships that developed with the people I work with. That's that's why I do it because of that personal connection and and the good causes that people promote. If if you look at who I've promoted, it's people that have a um, huge social impact. So and and you fall into that realm where you're doing a phenomenal project that's helping uh, so many women. Um, where there's a crucial need. Thank you. It's um, it's been fun. We Kiva actually connected us because you mm -hmm. because of the loans you typically endorse and because of our mission. And they just they thought that it would be a good connection. So I'm really thankful mm -hmm. that they did. Yeah, there's a big handout for shout out for Kiva for for doing that. That yeah. was a a skilled volunteer um, who said this would work really well, and I agree. Yeah. In fact, just a little side note, that skilled volunteer or that person, I think she's on staff, is Monica, and mm -hmm. we are going to be talking, we're going to do an interview with Monica tomorrow mm -hmm. evening yeah. to talk about Facebook Live, or to talk about Archive Alone. But what are... Give me an example of one of your favorite, one of your favorite things, one of your favorite 
loans or your favorite story since you've been involved with Kiva for the past five years? I, I th what comes to mind is a group of six individual loans I did to six farmers on the Oregon coast in, in the Halem Valley. And they worked together. They knew each other and they had different projects. So the one had a large farm, needed irrigation for it. Another one started a poultry business on that same land. Another one started a composting business on the mm -hmm. same land. And another one started raising vegetables <laughs> on the land. And another one utilized the food that the farmers were growing to um, sell at the farmer's market. Um, they had a, a roll and bowl where they made veggie wraps and miso soups. And it was in relationship. So it was $60,000 coming into that community at one time. A huge lift to the community. And I I'm, um, get so excited about the possibilities for local funding to the point where it could affect the uh, unemployment rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, it's really uh, a jump start to the economy. And, and I don't think people realize, I don't think the community realizes how much of an impact it could make. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's people helping people. Yeah. Well, and I think the, you know, a lot of what you're talking about is similar to Made for Freedom in that we're, you know, the dignified employment. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people talk about how much are you giving back and they're talking about the donation. And just like you said earlier, it's mm -hmm. not a handout. It's providing the skills and providing the tools that, that people need <coughs> to support themselves. <clears throat> And then they're not relying on others for a handout. And, mm -hmm. and I think there's just, there's so much dignity that comes with supporting yourself and, and bringing in that paycheck by working with your hands and by creating things and mm -hmm. using your skills. So, and, and you, and you've created that with your business in a magnificent vision and, mm -hmm. and it is such a humanitarian project. I mean, it, it, it's so heartwarming and so impactful. I mean, I, I hope you are so proud to be doing the work you're doing. I mean, it's, it's astounding. And, and I hope, I mean, I, I know that you will go far with this and it will change an incredible amount of lives. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. You. Yeah, I see you as, as very skilled with what you're doing and, and the, the marketing and, and the, the goodwill, the, the big heart. And that's what makes it for me working with Kiva is, is seeing people who are doing that and, and helping facilitate the next step. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And I, I am so excited. I will, I have to share one thing. Mm -hmm. I have to, I've told several people this, I haven't told you this, mm -hmm. but in the last five years that I have been trying to figure out how to run a business and trying to build this. And the more I learn about social enterprise and the more I dig into businesses that are really making a social impact, the more excited I have gotten about benefit corporations and becoming a B Corp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in the entirety of Made for Freedom, you are the only advisor or person who has recommended and said, I think you need to be a B Corp. Not mm -hmm. because you're the only one that thinks that, but there's so many people that don't even understand, they don't know what a B Corp is. And when we had our first conversation and you said that, and three nights prior to that, we had already started digging into what would it take. And we started the process of becoming mm -hmm. a B Corp. I was just 
over the, I was over the moon excited. I was like, she mm -hmm. knows what a B Corp is and she's encouraging us to do this. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, I just, I'm so excited to have you as our trustee. And I love the fact that you want to be involved and that you want to do monthly connections and you want to keep things, you want to stay close and walk alongside us as we mm -hmm. go through this. So yeah. thank you so much, right. Becca. Did you, do you have anything else you'd like to share? I'm um, overjoyed to be able to participate in this way with these phenomenal projects that are impacting so many people. Great. Well, it is a joy to have you. And thank you for your time today. Thank you for what you do. And thank you for what you do to make this world a better place. And <laughs> everyone else, I hope that you will join us tomorrow at 8 p.m. We are going to be talking to Monica, who is on staff with Kiva US, and hear some of her thoughts as a staff person and her background before she got involved with Kiva and, mm -hmm. and why she's excited about the Made yeah. for Freedom loan. And but what was that time, Dawn? 8 p.m. Oh, Central. 8 okay. p.m. Central. Okay, so. great. <laughs> I will talk to you it. soon. Okay, great. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon, Becca. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Thank you.